This is Kellen Cash for I Love JC Cafe.com. And today's guest is Toronto's own Christian singer sensation, Charlene Nash. This is Kellen Cash for Gospel Praise Radio, Lubbock, Texas. And today's guest is Toronto, Canada's own singing sensation, Charlene Nash. How are you doing, Miss Nash? I'm good. How are you? Blessed, highly favored, more than I deserve. And I want to know all about you. I know you've been singing from a young age. I think it was seven. Yeah, I have. Um, when I was seven, I started doing vocal lessons because I was always singing around the house. And my mom's like, hey, you have to get this girl to vocal lessons. So I was in church. And yeah, that's basically where the journey started. <laughs> Okay, and when did you decide to take it further and say, I'm going to record an album and then, you know, send it to iTunes and, you know, get some fans? Um, actually, it was like two years ago. Um, my manager, which is my youth pastor as well, um, he knew that I was a singer, like, when he came to our church and he used to manage other artists. And he was like, okay, let's build, like, a little studio at our church just for you. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. And then we just decided to make songs and then people started liking it we got good feedback and we're like okay let's make a little ep so that's how it started okay and for those who might be in canada or visiting soon and they might be looking for a church what church is that in toronto i go to islington evangelist center so i, I mean it's in toronto if they don't know canada then <laughs> i might as well just tell them toronto so yeah it's in toronto <laughs> okay. okay, and and what was the, we know God inspired the music, but, you know, what was, what was the testimony is what I'm trying to get to. What's what's the testimony behind the, the EP? Um, well, honestly, like, I, when I got to high school, you know, you get a little lost, you get a little doubtful in yourself and your faith, and, like, you just, you're finding who you are, and I just felt like when I started writing, I, it was just me really just growing in my faith and really started to get serious about changing my life and just, it talks, I don't know if you, obviously you've heard the whole thing, but, you know, it just talks about my struggles and, like, my feelings basically towards what was going on in my life, people um, not respecting the change person that I was and just me. Um, getting closer to God and people not really understanding it at the same time people being supportive and just me being happy that I was you know doing this for God and changing my life you know and coming out of that dark place I was in high school so yeah that's basically what it was about okay and was there like a certain situ a certain situation or day where you said I can't live for you know sin anymore I got to give my life to Christ what was it that made you uh just make that 180 question a lot. It wasn't a certain day, it was just kind of like a time period in my life. I just felt very like far from God kind of thing. Like I was just not really, I just knew that I wasn't where I was supposed to be and I started feeling really, really guilty and like I was just at a point where I was like, okay God, I know, I know. Like I, I didn't even want to talk to him because I was so ashamed of myself and I just eventually was like, you know, I'm, I'm done. Like I don't want to be living life feeling guilty all the time and as I met up with my youth Pastor Andrew James, um, yeah, he was just kind of encouraging me. So it was like me having a, in a moment of, okay, I want to change, and then someone coming into my life trying to encourage me. So it was just that right moment of, okay, you know, I know something needs to happen. Okay. Yeah. And and let the folks know what is the single off the album that they can go to their you know radio stations or check online and say request that request that and play it over and over every hour. What what's the single off the EP? You can request following. That's the one that's released actually. It's just a Friday you know song about following the Lord. So you know they can request it. <laughs> okay and. It started, the, the, the EP and the idea started in the church, so it wasn't like it was a, um, you know, a, a, a big label said, hey, we're going to give you all this money and you do this. You really did it from your heart. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was definitely from the heart. It was, you were very much not on money, unless I might say, like, we were like, just let's use all the resources we can, you know, kind of, just whoever was down to help this music come alive, basically, and just whoever had a heart for God, we were just all connecting and just trying to make this EP happen, which it did, so yeah. 
and it's expanded. You're being modest, and you've been nominated for an award or, or two. You want to talk about that? Oh, yeah. Um, to be honest, <laughs> I didn't even remember um, submitting for that award. So what happened, like, when I saw the nomination, like, I was like, I don't even remember doing this, like, but I did. <laughs> but, yeah, so it, it's um, the, the Gospel Music Association of Canada. And, yeah, so I got my EP, my whole EP got nominated. So, yeah. The award show is on November 7th, I believe. So hopefully... I win. Pray for me. <laughs> Amen. And it's uh, God works in mysterious ways. You don't remember submitting it, but somehow they got it. You know. Adam. I know. They only got. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what are your your plans for the future with um, music? Um, my plan basically is make albums, write music for myself and other people, and just tour around, um, spread my testimony through just speaking music and also just be like a motivation for young females. I'm big on that. I feel like I've learned a lot. I'm, you know, I am so young. I'm only 20, but I'm in a good position where I can teach younger teenage girls because I feel like I would want, I, at the time, I wanted someone to like me to be there for me, so I just want to be that role model for them. So, yeah. And just help them on their spiritual walk and journey. So, yeah. What do you think is holding a lot of young girls uh, back? Um, I would say just, like, the culture, like, in our generation, like, we just follow the media so much, and it may not be the coolest thing to be a Christian, or maybe they're embarrassed, or they're just, you know, trying to put on this facade, or, like, just trying to be cool, and they don't really see the up life to being a Christian, and I would think that's the most, you know, difficult thing. Or they think that, um... Christian life is too hard, you know, everybody doesn't really want to take that extra step to be good, they just think it's easier to, you know, chill and live life how they want to instead of God's way, you know, so I think that'd be the, the biggest um, difficulty in that. <laughs> and where can they uh, see, do you have any dates for tour dates, anything set up, and where at, if so? Not yet, actually, um... I would just recommend going to my website, www.shirleynash.com, to check out where I'm going to be at, because I don't really have any um, tour dates confirmed coming up, but in the new year, for sure, I'll definitely have that information. Okay, so charlenenash.com, check that out. We'll say it again for those who are saying, what they say, Nash, what? charlenenash.com, the singles following. And um, what about the social media? Are you a big social media buff? Okay. So. I guess I'm a media person. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might have some folks say, you know, I love your music. Um, you know, I want to be your best friend or collaborate with you, collaborate with you. And so, Twitter is where to go. Mm -hmm, exactly. And they can get you. And where can they get the EP? Um, they can get it on iTunes if you type in my name, or you can go on my um website and there's a link there to the iTunes link, or you can get it on Amazon and. Got you. And, you know, it's it's five songs, and it's reasonably priced. Uh, so, you know, you that folks will definitely be blessed by it. What are, Could you give us, um, in your hard times, I always like to uh, have an artist give an anchor verse, something that, you know, helps them in their hard times, or even in your joyous times. Uh, um, I would say in their hard times, Okay, okay, amen, amen. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Um, the important thing is you have it on your heart. Exactly. That's the <laughs> important thing, that you know, you can pull it and it's on your heart. And it is Psalms 138.8. Okay, God will make perfect. 
speak that which concerns me. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. And when you when you write your music, is there a certain method? Like, do you have to be in a certain place? Are you like in your car? Um, uh, I do a lot of my thinking in my room for the most part. But I I can get song lyrics anywhere, and I just type it in my BlackBerry. I do a little um voice note or whatnot, and then I just write <laughs> on my piano or on my guitar. So yeah. Okay, and do you play? You play the piano and the guitar? I do, fairly, fairly well. Not enough that I'm not any Mozart or anything, but I do, like, I play enough piano to write, and I play enough guitar to write, so yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Well, Miss Charlene Nash, check her out, charlenenash.com. Get her album, get the, the EP, and there's more to come from this young lady. We thank you for just, you know, spending some time with us here on the radio. And don't be thank a stranger. You. Thank you. And I'm going to ask you, Miss Nash, to if you couldn't give a drop.